When you think back to your dad, is there one special moment that comes to mind? I think the moment that I always go back to with my dad, of the many that I have in my memory, I think about him all the time. The one that I always think about that encapsulates the relationship that we had because he was injured, he was in his wheelchair for the majority of the time that I had with him, was when he taught me how to ride a bike just by telling me what to do. And he was six, you know, but anyway, he, uh, I told him what you gotta do is you're gonna uh, put one paddle up, put your foot on it, and you're gonna give it a big push. Who knew back in 2002 when Chris told us that same story that it would have such a lasting effect on Will? And he obviously couldn't hold the seat and help me out, but he told me, put your right foot on the pedal, your left foot on the ground, push down as hard as you can with your right foot, put your left foot on the pedal, and just keep doing that, hold on tight, and it'll work out. Now don't look down and don't wobble the handlebars because you don't need to. Look straight ahead, like pick a tree over there and look straight ahead and uh, don't, you're not gonna run into the tree, but go in that direction and, uh, and then push and, and go. And we're gonna do it on three, one, two, three. And he did it. I could hear him cheering me on and then the second pass, I was a little more confident. And by the third time around, I was like, let's go down the big hill. And he was so proud and he was proud of me every moment. <laughs> And that extended to hockey. When Will had a game, Chris was almost always there watching. Yeah, just right in that corner right there. We were with 13-year-old Will in 2005 at a practice just months after his dad passed. We replayed a portion of that interview for Will. He was just like, just the ultimate hockey dad. That's amazing. This is 2005, the Westchester Express. Whenever I skate by him, I'd see him smiling and give me a, give me in what would be a thumbs up. He was just happy to see me doing what I like to do. Is that what my voice sounded like? That's amazing. And look at my hair. Look at your hair. Look at my hair. That's incredible. The, the style there, I was, in, uh, I was in seventh grade. My dad died when I was in seventh grade, October 10th, 2004. And February of 2005, Access Hollywood came and, and came to hockey practice. And I remember being so embarrassed because I thought you, I was Did we good. embarrass you? Well, no, well, I, you know, you're with your teammates, a bunch of 12 and 13 year old boys. You got cameras around. And these guys show up. I was not the best player on my team. In all seriousness, I remember that time in my life. It was four or five months after my dad had passed away. And having things to keep me busy and keep me happy, like hockey, which was such a big part of my life, like my teammates who were my friends, basically like brothers, having an outlet to sort of focus on really helped me out. And it also kept me connected to my dad. Our favorite sport was hockey, and he was always right there. I, I said in the video that he's giving me his version of a thumbs up. I always felt his version of a thumbs up. If you love that video, you're gonna love everything on the Access YouTube channel, so hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now.